Like, I know on a soul level, yeah, we're one thing, that we're all this one God. I know this, yeah, but it's the egos that separate us, and I can't be fucked with half of your egos. Do you know what I mean? I don't know who you think you are, that you have the right to comment on my page and my photos and my pictures and my videos like you know me when you have no idea who I am, what I'm about. You've watched probably one video of me saying that you don't get virgins when you die and all of a sudden I am the white devil bitch. Sort your life out, guys, seriously, because I'm not going to get mad about it no more. I just think it's basic, it's pathetic. Like, I know I'm right. I know you're not going to get this shit. Do you know what I mean? And I'm trying, to, I'm trying to give you a message that I was born with, that I'm supposed to give to people, but people either can't listen to it because I'm a white blonde female and no one wants to listen to me, or they're so fucking hard-headed already with what they've been conditioned with and what they've been told that they can't hear me anyway. It doesn't mean I'm going to shut up. It doesn't mean I'm going to stop saying what I've got to say and giving you the message that I've got to give you because it's my job. It's my purpose. I'm here to tell you the truth. Like it or leave it. It doesn't make me a whore. It doesn't make me a prostitute. It makes you fucking basic for not listening because you're all expecting someone to come and save us. Someone's coming to do something. We are here now and no one is listening. Certain people are listening. Do you know what I mean? Actually, that's bad of me to say because I am focusing quite a lot on the negative stuff at the moment and I probably need to sort that out because that's, that's my problem. Do you know what I mean? And that's not you lot. And I, and I will say, yeah, do you know what I mean? That's my issue. I've got to sort that out. I've always been like it. It's something that I've had to struggle with and work with my whole life. Do you know what I mean? I went to prison for God's sake. It doesn't, it's not because I'm a peaceful person that I went to prison. Do you know what I mean? I've got a fucking temper. And when people push my buttons and cross the lines with me and cross boundaries with me, I flip out. And I'm not going to pretend that I'm just this sweet, innocent girl that, that doesn't flip out because I fucking do. And yesterday, I was crying yesterday, guys. Like, I put out something that I felt needed to be said and the abuse and the attack that I got from so-called peaceful religious people was disgusting. I swear to God, I have never been racist in my whole life and I nearly turned racist yesterday. It took a lot of self-will for me to think, no, I'm not going to judge all of Muslims based on these fucking idiots that are commenting on my status. I'm not going to do it. And that took a strong will to do that, I'm telling you, because most people that went through this experience that I had yesterday with you lot would hate you. I swear to God, forever. It would put someone off for life. Do you know what I mean? And then I, because th I was always thinking like, why are there all these like anti-Muslim groups? Like, why does everyone want to kill all the Muslims? Like, what is it? I thought it was a really peaceful religion. I thought, yeah, it's a bit, they've got like women as second class citizens and it's a bit controlling and stuff, but what religion hasn't got faults? Do you know what I mean? And, and if at the heart of it is God, which I do believe and I do know because I don't know where this idea that I don't believe in God came from. I am talking about God. This is what I'm doing this for because we need to remember what God is. It is not this guy in the sky that's going to judge us on judgment day. That's a lie, guys, and that's what I'm here to tell you. Now, if you want to attack me and abuse me for saying to you that there is only one God and we are made of it, it's cool. I don't care because it's true. And I will be hated for telling the truth because I would rather be hated for telling the truth than be loved for lying to you because I'm not here to lie to you. I'm not here to be liked by you. I'm here to give you the truth. How you deal with it and how you perceive it is your responsibility. I am not going to take responsibility for how you receive and perceive what I say. It's not going to happen. So if you think that what I made yesterday in that video was racist, that's up to you. That's your perception. That wasn't my intention. At no point have I made a personal attack on anybody. Do you know what I mean? I'm fucking tempted to now. Don't get me wrong. I've been called the most disgusting names, the most disgusting racist names, and I'm being accused of being racist for questioning beliefs. Now, there is a difference between religion and race. If you don't know that, you need to go back to school. Do you know what I mean? Because you're, you're not educated, you're indoctrinated, for one thing. What I'm saying is, just ask questions. I'm not saying that everything in religion is wrong, because that would be stupid of me, because God has inspired all of it, and I know that. But just like anything with men, they corrupt it. This is all I'm saying. And if we can establish that there is truth in all the different religions and we can combine the truth from all the different religions, we're going to have a much bigger picture of what's really going on. We're probably going to find that the conflict and the violence will cease to exist once we can establish our similarities instead of our differences. 
This is the message I'm trying to put across. I am not trying to enhance the conflict between religious wars. I, that is not my intention. And I'm offended that people have just jumped to the conclusion that because I'm a white girl, that if I say anything about Muslims, that it's going to be racist. That is an offence to my soul. And then don't, so don't act surprised that I'm pissed off when you're offending me on a soul level. If you want to offend me physically and say, oh, she's an ugly white bitch, I don't really give a fuck. But it's when you're attacking my character, you're attacking my intention, and you are breaking my soul. I'm not going to stop doing this, guys. I am here with a message that I've got to give. Do you think it's, um, it's not a coincidence that you've all followed me? I didn't ask you to follow me. Do you know what I mean? My face and my message is getting out there because it's something that needs to be heard. If you have heard it already, it's because you are ready for it. The information has crossed your path for a reason. Do you know what I mean? Now, I cannot take responsibility if you can't handle the information. You're going to have to pray. You're going to have to go inside yourself. Do you know what I mean? And find out how you can deal with this information. Because the fact of the matter is, we have to have a revolution. We cannot continue to live as all these different separate cultures because we are killing each other and we are killing the planet. We need to find a way to get onto a mutual ground where we can accept that there is only one God. He did make everything. We're all supposed to be equal. There is no one that's worth any more than anyone else. No one has the right to judge anyone or kill anyone or think that God is going to punish. You are in no position to say what God God thinks is right and wrong. None of you are. Not even I am. Because right and wrong are about perception. They're relative. What could be right for me will be wrong for you. You're confusing them with positive and negative. Those are absolute. And we can't argue with something that's what's positive and something that's going to have a negative effect. And we can work around them, but you're in no position to say what's right and what's wrong. Now, I am going to make a conscious effort, okay, to not get so angry about things because I, and I'm, and I'm reading the comments and people are saying like, calm down and it's getting me more mad because I'm thinking you're not on the receiving end of what I'm on at the moment. You're not having to deal with it. Do you know what I mean? I'm doing this on my own. I have got no support really from anyone around me. My, even my own family don't support what I'm doing at the moment, but I'm doing this because it's in my heart and I feel I have to do this. I have a purpose to do this. If you want to perceive that, as an attack on your religion, that says more about you than it does about me. Because everything you're saying about me is a reflection of you. All right? And I, I'm just, and I'm going to keep doing it and I'm going to keep saying what I got to say and I'm not going to stop. And you can hate me if you want, but at the end of the day, at some point, you're going to have to wake up, you're going to have to come to reality, and you're going to have to realise that there is truth in it. And if we can all work on the truth in it instead of the lies in it, we are going to get somewhere. And we are going to get somewhere together, which is what it's about. Now, have a nice day.